What's happening? Get ready What's up, for us. We're Yo. going live. Bruh. Fellas. This is the chance of the three oh, part of life. Cheers, 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 What's going on? What up, man? What's up? It's this is the chance of the three point five. To be a fly on the wall. Cheers. At the barbershop or gym in the bathroom stall. Oh, oh when he's on yeah, his way from hanging out of work. Hello. At the end of the day. Do you ever just want to get into a huddle to listen rebuttal or just right. plain understand what's happening oh, in yeah. the cave of a man? Yeah. Three point five. Yeah. Alright, alright. It is mind blowing to me the amount of songs you wrote that became, you know, big hits, big number one hits. And it's also mind blowing to me that you were that generous with them. Like you'd give them to the Temptations and you would give them to other bands Mary on Motown. Wells. You didn't care. Vandellas, you Vandellas, well, everybody. People say, well, aren't you, aren't you sorry you didn't keep that for yourself and get that to the Temptations? No, because were it not for the Temptations, I probably never would have written My Girl. My girl. The session for My Girl the first time. And James Jameson, who was our bass player, I said, okay, I want you to play boom, 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 boom. So we're just running it down. You know, we haven't even started recording it. And Robert stands up in the studio and starts playing boom, 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 boom. And then he said, no, 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 no. I said, no, 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 nothing. Yeah, we're doing this. That's going on the record. I read somewhere once that Michael Jackson's Billy Jean, he came up to you guys and said that he was actually inspired by the bass line of I Can't Go For That. We, we were doing the We Are The World session. Uh, everybody was talking to everybody else because you know, there, was, there was just the artists in the, in the rooms. And Michael came up to me, as, you know, in conversation, and he goes, hey, man, I hope you don't mind if I stole, st you know, st stole No Can Do. <laughs> and I said, hey, does it sound like No Can Do to me? I was going to say, I mean, I've heard Billy Jean a million times. I wouldn't have thought that. Well, that was in his head because he, he, it, was, it inspired him. So yeah. he was the kind of guy, he, he said that to me. I thought that was pretty cool that he said that. But I, to me, I mean, an artist can take something that even they may think is... is you know, a, a ripoff or whatever you want to call it, but right. it's not at all. Right. You know, I mean, it was it, it, uh, maybe in the slight, if you really wanted to stretch it a little bit, you could hear the two things together. But anyway, he did say it. <laughs> I, the my research food, and because I've been researching on how to grow and, and cultivate my own food because there's been a, like a shortage of food that's going around. So I'm trying to grow my food. So I'm trying to figure out what's the best, you know, the best stuff to eat that's cheap to grow and all of that stuff. And yeah, don't even go yeah, just don't do it. Mm. Yeah, mm. I mean, there's so many things that I've learned now since I've been researching this whole thing where people think that they need protein from animals. We don't, technically, because even through teaching as well, I found out that I, I well, I really about the primary consumers, the secondary consumers, and the tertiary consumers, where the primary consumers, they're the herbivores who eat the grass. Right. Then there's the secondary consumers who eat those who eat the grass. So we are technically tertiary consumers because we eat both animals and plants. So we're at the top of the chain. More top like, of the food chain. Top of the food chain. But technically, we should not be because we can survive on eating the healthy stuff. Uh huh. Right. Plants and shit. Yeah. So, and shit. So that stuff is good for you. So I would tell everybody your diet should be mainly salads with a little piece of meat on top if you want to leave meat in your diet. But your main diet to be completely healthy, that's what you gotta eat. Like, there's been so many studies on the effects of a vegan diet on the body. Like, they tested one guy, some three guys. They told them one night eat meat, the other night they gave them a vegan meal, right? See what it does for your blood, your blood. For your, see either what it does for your blood as for well as what it does for your erections. Right, I've seen Man. that. Yeah. Man. It went up by 50%. Yeah. What did? Your erections. No, I'm erections. saying, what, but what made it do that? The, the, the vegan blood meal. Blood. The vegan, vegan meal. meal, gotcha. Yeah, so, yeah, man, I watched it and I was like, hmm. That documentary. That was a documentary, right? Yeah, with game sports game. athletes. Yeah, sports, sports athletes. athletes. Yeah, that was a great. That was a great doc. I great documentary, man. Great. So if you want to perform better there the next day, have a bowl of salad, man. A bowl of, of vegetables and 
I was telling, I, I think we were talking about this recently. Uh, I, I mean, I really, I, my my wife doesn't eat meat, and she usually does most of the cooking. So yeah, like I honestly, I'm, I'm about, I'm I'm about like an eight, I'm about like 80, 80, 20 guy. Like I'll have meat once a week. I'll eat red meat once every two weeks. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's great. Like I'll crave a burger every now and then, or a steak, and I'll. I'll order myself a burger. Like Yeah, man. They yeah, this household is mostly chicken and fish. Yeah, man. When I was training, like, I had hardcore heavy, like, training, training. I was having a steak every day. Like, I was wow. hardcore. I was hardcore in it. I was like, nice. But now I'm realizing, yeah, I don't need that. Man. Yeah, but, like, listen, man. You could still shed and, and have, like, lean, lean meat. I mean, look, dude. I know people who literally, for their protein... They just yeah. crush like two or three cans of tuna, and they have yep. vegan vegan protein powder with all yeah. and they yeah, get you know, plenty of protein. They can get all the grams they want in protein. Yeah, man. Even one of my exes, she was a bodybuilder, and she told me literally that's all she had. Her entire meal for the day was just tuna fish and salad, tuna fish and salad, mm-hmm. salad, a piece of meat, tuna fish and salad, but mainly salads. And she was ripped, like. Yeah. I'm looking at them and she's like, well, I'm fat now. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, man. Yeah, a lot of people have a different uh, idea of what fat is. Just like a lot of people have a different idea of what broke is. They're like, I'm broke. Yeah, but you have $20,000 in your uh, bank yeah, account. Yeah, but, but they don't see that being <laughs> broke. They see it as, I need this amount in my account. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I need, you know, no. It's per- everything is perception anyways. All of these things are perception. My fat is fat and my broke is broke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right now my broke is broke. Yeah, yeah I've, I've learned the concept of saving, like saving to buy something. You see, like when I'm when like, say I'm toying, I'm on a ship. Yeah. Like, you need so much money. I'm just like, oh, I need this. Oh, I just buy it. Fuck it. Hmm. Now I'm just like, nah, man. It was right here. Why else would it Dan drop? Dan was like, Dan was like, you lied. He's <laughs> lying to you. He's lying. You lie. <laughs> I remember having to go over to Europe without a computer. Like, this is great. Because <laughs> uh, I was in Canada when it happened. Yeah, so you just came up home and be like, like, shit, it's not working. Yeah, because it was sitting right where it was supposed to be sitting. So right. I actually opened my computer maybe after a week of being home and was like, oh, get on and do this thing. Probably something with upward and onward. And, and, and should I be like, it's, like, maybe it's your fault. Maybe you jumped to the end, didn't you? No. Yeah, you know? <laughs> and then I'm like, hmm. No. No. Arrow, no. arrow, arrow. Do, 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 do. Yeah. It's like more than a quarter of the screen is like completely <laughs> damaged. Yeah. yeah Things, it, it, it makes this loud noise when it's trying to heat up. I'm like, it, oh, it, what it, the it, hell? It's a hard fault, man. Like, I tell people like these things don't just randomly happen. Like when I transported my keyboard from Chicago to New York, like it, I had like a hard case, like a hard traveling case, like strong shit. And then UPS brought it over, and I've seen like the, the wheels missing, the wheels broken off, like my motherboard <laughs> yeah. for damage. I'm like, what did you do? <laughs> what? what? It's like I don't know, man. It's, it's that's how I got it. What? Have any of you all been lucky enough to watch uh, the the baggage handlers throw your bag when you're sitting on the plane? Damn. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, I, oh. tell, I tell people when it comes to these things, there is nothing I can do to my bags that the airport has. Yeah, nothing. Right. Nothing. Nothing. Like if they it just makes like, it out of there. <sighs> then exactly. If it makes it out of there, scratch, man. Good. So point. UPS, you have my my badge, <laughs> man. I traveled with my keyboard so many places. I did one once with UPS and you broke it. Good job. Yeah, there yeah, they. Good yeah. job, man. Yeah, they, they don't care. <laughs> uh, man, wow. <laughs> Which one is that? Your red, your red keyboard? Um, that's no, that's the, the my Kronos. The nice, yeah, the nice yeah. big the Kronos. Nice yeah. big one, yeah. Yes. So oh. it is as strong as keyboard. Yeah. How? Big How? Ah. They had to like actively destroy it. They had to, it literally had to be falling off a truck like 10 feet or something, falling off a truck for them to damage that. Like, that's the which it probably did. They probably stacked it on something and they should have never done that. And yeah, then, and they just fell oh, oh. Because to break the case, one, 
and to break the keyboard in like my motherboard got damaged inside the case like how was it insured at all nope so i had to fix them myself because i called them and they were like oh since i use my own packaging they're not entitled to uh, so i'm like if i put it in you a got box, you. if i put it in a box where it could get even more damage they would have paid for it no no <laughs> No, wow. a hard case is better than a box. I'm sorry, no. I'm not doing that to my keyboard, man. No, no way. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? I know, I know I'm switching the subject right now, but I see sure. you holding a Rubik's Cube. Oh, this, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You always I just do it. Up. Yeah. Can I ask you, is there a specific way to complete it? Like, is there... Um, there is a pattern. There's a pattern of movements here. So it's um, technically, how many algorithms? About seven algorithms to solve in this. Really? Yeah. The last one, you just repeated at what you did at the first. Oh, so there's really just one way to actually complete it. Um, there's a basic way to complete it. The seven okay. algorithms are the basic way to complete it. There are some geniuses out there who can do this in seconds. So yeah. that's a great we, documentary too. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah. So <laughs> um, they created their own algorithms in their head, like, like man, and they can do this in seconds. But I take my time. Like, I don't care when I get to the finish line, as long as I do get to the finish line. That's right. that's what matters. You're a marathoner. <laughs> you're a marathoner said, of the Rubik's cube. He said exactly. that like uh, I want to say it was probably like five or six episodes ago. He was like. I can yeah. do it in I can do it in seconds. How many seconds? It doesn't matter. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't matter, man. It does not matter. <laughs> like there are some guys who like they try their best. I think the record is like I think like four seconds. Twenty seconds, second, eighteen seconds. Oh no, man, four seconds. Four, four seconds. Five, four and five seconds, yeah. Oh my god. Literally literally it was like this. So they they it's for the competitions, they'll give them because this is wow. like a toy one. But for competitions they move a lot more smoothly. So they'll give them the Ruby Cube, they'll have a look at it. They're not allowed to move anything, they just have to look right. at it, examine it and be like, ready. So the hands on the the hands on the table, thing go. That's it, yeah. And that's it. And I'll just be like, What? That's ridiculous. That is crazy, man. That means they got down a pad yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that those guys study they like, they literally like the same way like you train for like an Olympic event. Those guys practice on different cubes for eight to nine hours a day. Like I have a life. No. no. <laughs> that is their life. <laughs> that yeah, is I, yeah, their life. I'm not gonna spend my entire life solving this thing. Like and I tried doing the there's a four by four one where it's it's like this but four by four. So four ones. I think I left it in Chicago. I have to go get it. And I solved it once and never again. Wow. Because you should see I have, it. you should see the documentary. Do you have do you have Nef, uh, do you have Netflix? Yeah, I got Netflix. Yeah, watch the Speed Cubers. Oh, the Speed Cubers. Yeah, it's about it's about Rubik's cube, like professionals. Yeah, those guys are crazy, man. Like, Darren, you still haven't conformed to Netflix? You still haven't done it? Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. I got Netflix. I got HBO Max. Yeah, man. Hulu. Hey, what's up with HBO Max? What's the deal with that? They're they're like releasing movies on HBO Max, right? Yeah, they're releasing yeah. Uh, yeah. uh like the movies that would normally go to to the theaters. The theater, yeah, a lot of them are going to HBO Max, you and have I have HBO download. Max. You have to download the app. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I have, app, yeah. you might have it through if you have cable service or something. Sometimes you might actually automatic automatically have it. That's how I figured out that I had it. Yeah, it was because, like already uh, part of my part of my package, and I didn't even plan, know. Yeah. Yeah, my, I used to use my uncle's account and then when I realized that those those buggers are smart. Those fuckers are real smart. So they, <laughs> they, they tag the account to the Wi-Fi. Yeah. So as long as I'm connected to his Wi-Fi, I have all the channels. The minute I came down here and they realized different Wi-Fi, oop, doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I have everything. Uh, I have everything except for there's something I don't have that I don't a lot a lot of people use. I can't remember, but I, I got everything set up. Well, I think it's Amazon I don't have anymore because I, I let go of my Amazon Prime. Oh, yeah. I let, I let go of that quick. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm not ordering shit. So nope. Amazon I don't have, but I've I've used a couple friends just to, like, watch certain things. But Yeah. Yeah. The only, the only one I haven't watched is I need to get is Soul. I don't know if you've seen Soul. 
It's uh, the one from Pixar. Oh, I haven't seen it, but I did hear that Tracy Morgan on the uh, Golden Globes call it Sal. And the winner is Sal. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, I heard it's a really good movie, so I need I need to watch it. It's it's a music it's a music movie, so I need to see it. That's crazy. Dude is running, is running, is running. Maybe you'll have to be the fly on the wall. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. He needs to be the fly. Oh man, I don't know. That is what it is. It is what it is. Me well, now, I'm just enjoying life, enjoying doing this photo shoots and shit. Yeah, man. See? Yeah, you photo shoot and edit strong, bro. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah. See this my lovely camera. Look at oh, that's great. Cool. This is my birthday present for myself. Is that a camera? Or are you just happy to see us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brother. The new series premiering on FX tonight, Impeachment, American Crime Story. Monica is co-producer on the series, which covers her affair with then-President Bill Clinton and his subsequent impeachment. Someone important. Impeachment, American Crime Story, has all the ingredients of a good drama. But in 1998, it was the reality for 24-year-old Monica Lewinsky. Linda Tripp secretly recorded Monica confessing to her relationship. Those recordings and news of the affair posted on the Drudge Report. Reports of a new sex scandal involving President Clinton, a young White House intern. And the public shaming of Monica. Overnight, I went from being a completely private figure to a publicly humiliated one worldwide i was patient zero lewinsky avoided the spotlight for well over a decade until she went viral speaking out about the price of shame in a ted talk what did it feel like in that moment to come out and reclaim your story she found her purpose first as an anti-bullying advocate and more Next recently year, as a TV and film producer, co-producing the new <laughs> FX series covering the darkest days of her life. That's me, that's my face. Now reclaiming her story through storytelling. How do you become the you, you dream of being? You just have to say yes, yes, yes. I don't know. Do you really want to do all of this? No. That's it. You know, girl. No. <laughs> headed directly towards Earth. Do you know how many the world is ending meetings we've had over the last two years? Drought, oh. famine. Hole in the ozone is so boring.